How's it going, everyone? Welcome to a brand new episode of The Process. As always, I am your host, Justin Smith, the Director of Recruiting for Touchdown Alabama. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for another episode. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me as well. Subscribers, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop content on our YouTube channel. As always, I'm here each week to break down the latest to Crimson Tide football recruiting news. And I'm going to recap a busy weekend for the Crimson Tide as they were able to get several top 2024 recruits on campus for unofficial visits also had their second scrimmage of the spring as well those guys had an opportunity some of them to watch alabama's second scrimmage um, of the spring on saturday i'll talk about some of those guys on this episode the process of course we don't want the process to be super super long there are other updates that will be provided over at touchdownalabama.com as they continue to come in from this past weekend but i am going to talk about one guy a top running back who was in tuscaloosa over the weekend and four-star running back Nathaniel Frazier out of Matter Day High School, Matter Day High School in California. Of course, one of the top high school football programs in the country. Gifted Alabama Bryce Young coming out of California. So the Crimson Tide are going to try to get out to the West Coast this time around to grab another running back. The last running back they were able to get out of California, of course, was Najee Harris. And now they're going to try to pull out Nathaniel Frazier, who feels the Crimson Tide are recruiting him very hard. Had an opportunity to catch up with him before he visited Alabama on Sunday, and he told me that he felt Alabama was shooting him very hard. He was in contact with Alabama's wide receiver coach, Harmon Wiggins. He was in contact with Alabama's running back coach, Robert Gillespie. Has also had conversations with Nick Saban. He's one of those top recruits who gets a phone call from Nick Saban. So when you have all of those in the mix you know this guy is a top target for the crimson tide and deservedly so one of the fastest running backs in the country one runs a 10 5 8 and the 100 meter dash i love running backs and athletes and skilled players who run track because you can get some verified speed some verified time on them and if a guy runs a 10 5 8 that is what I call verified elite speed. And Nathaniel Frazier is one of those guys. And it shows on his film when he's running in open space. He's one of those guys with that type of speed who just seems to continue to accelerate, reach his top. It seems like he never reaches top speed because it seems like he's always um, getting faster. So he's an explosive running back. Nevertheless, the first guy get him down and he can even break a couple of tackles. And then once he gets free, get some open space, he can show that explosiveness, show that speed in the open field field so the crimson tie really like nathaniel frazier a lot the 2024 four-star running back who will be in the conversation to be the number one running back in the 2024 recruiting class he spoke very highly of the crimson ties running back development when i got an opportunity to catch up with them telling me you don't really have to say much about it they always have a bat go high in the draft and then continue to be great in the nfl it speaks for itself so the crimson tie were able to get him on campus on sunday and it looks as if that visit uh, went really well so i feel a toddler in a solid position with nathaniel frazier we will see how that relationship continues to progress but i still feel that he will be a top running back target for the crimson tide moving forward in this 2024 recruiting class so we're going to stay on the west coast when we talk about this next guy i'm talking about peyton woodyard who comes from another california powerhouse he comes from st john bosco high school who a piece gets on um, modern day of course i, I think they play pretty much um every season it seems like it seems like it's a really big game on the west coast one of those games that you hear about no matter what part of the country you're in if you cover high school football whenever that game is coming up you just seem to hear about it because it gets so much publicity and and deservedly so because so many top prospects top players and multiple recruiting classes play for both of those programs of course we're talking about two of them on today's show but Woodyard is actually a four-star defensive back out of St. John Bosco High School who is currently committed to the Georgia Bulldogs but that is not stopping the Crimson Tide from recruiting him he actually took a visit to Alabama recently he had a quote that I think Alabama fans would love to hear and I'm going to read that quote 
Of course, he said Coach Wiggins has always said that they won't stop recruiting me as well as Coach T. Rob, Taraj Robinson, Alabama's cornerbacks coach. Of course, it was great to get out there and watch them practice. I had a really good meeting with Coach Saban. He said they need me there and would love to have me there. Now, I was humbled when he said that my safety film was the best he's seen in this class. That means a lot coming from him. Coach T. Rob and I went over the schemes in our in their defense and how they see me quarterbacking the defense. It was great to sit in on the meeting too. So he got a end up behind the scenes look at the Crimson Todd. Actually went to the film room just showing him how he would fit into their defensive schemes. And Woodard has been a top target for the Crimson Tide. I think they re-offered him like over, around this time over a year ago, but he had to offer, I think, I think he had to offer at least, I know for a fact more than a year, could be closing in on two years. He, he has had an offer from the Crimson Tide for a long time. Of course, like I said, he's verbally committed to the Georgia Bulldogs, but Alabama is not going to stop recruiting uh, one of the top defensive backs in the 2024 recruiting class. You, re you heard what I said when when he talked about Saban. Saban said he feels that like he has some of the best safety film in his class. You're watching some of that film right now. I think he's a feel physical safety plays well over the top look fluid in his movement the thing that's most impressive about his game to me is how he comes down to help and run support most of his footage and most of his film from his junior year is him helping and run support making tackles close to the line of scrimmage making tackles in open space and if you looking at looking for a safety prospect you want a guy like that who's physical who can help and run support place play close to the line of scrimmage if possible play close to the close to the line of scrimmage play inside the box possibly come in on the blitz you see the crimson tide have used some versatile defensive backs like that in the past we can take a look at guys like Mika fitzpatrick and also brian branch so the crimson tide are not going to stop recruiting Peyton woodyard of course woodyard is not the only um georgia commit to the crimson tide are recruiting at the moment really hard look at guys like ellis robinson demarcus riddick who's a five-star linebacker who actually is from alabama go to chilton county high school the crimson tide are going to continue to recruit him hard as well but Woodyard is a guy who the Crimson Tide told over the weekend that they are not going to stop recruiting him until he puts pen to paper another four-star defensive back who was in Tuscaloosa over the weekend is Jordan Johnson Rubel a 2024 four-star safety out of IMG Academy in Bradenton Florida one of the more versatile defensive backs in his class, a physical um, defensive back. The Crimson Tide spoke highly of him. They said that they think he can fit into their defense as well as a guy like Minka Fitzpatrick, as a guy like um, Brian Branch, just a versatile defensive back who can make some big hits like he made on that play on the football, a guy who can jump routes, moves really well in space in the secondary as well. So I like what Johnson Rubel brings to the table. Had an opportunity to catch up with him after his visit to Alabama, and he is on in an official visit to the with the Crimson Todd at the moment trying to figure out dates but this is what he had to say about his visit had a great conversation with coach Saban and coach C-Rob about how they see me as a versatile guy at Alabama like how they use Brian Branch and Mika Fitzpatrick in the past so high praise from Alabama to the IMG Academy product Crimson Todd of course recruiting multiple safety prospects with Johnson Rubel and what you're being those guys of course album has a commitment from five-star defensive back Jalen Mbakwe who most likely be a cornerback he, he I think he's gonna be a versatile prospect he is a versatile prospect could be a safety if he's needed there if they want him there but I think he's gonna play cornerback at the next level that kid can be a wide receiver um if he wanted to but the Crimson Tide looks as if they're going after after multiple safeties in his class after signing some in the 2023 recruiting class of course we're looking at guys like Caleb Downs and also Brayson Hubbard out of Mississippi, out of Ocean Springs High School. Another prospect of the Crimson Tide are showing continued interest in as of late is Eric Carner out of Illinois, a three-star tight end who was once verbally committed to the Purdue Boilermakers. He backed off that commitment um, a couple of, I think a couple of days ago, and now his recruitment is back open. And he, he is an interesting prospect, uh, prospect. I think he's one of those 2024 prospects who didn't get a lot of attention early on started to get offers and once he started to get those early offers i think he's one of those guys some guys are like this who don't know how big their recruitment is going to be so I, once he got the purdue offer i think he committed like a couple of days later but a couple of days after he committed he got offers from alabama texas and them south carolina started getting offers from sec schools i think his recruitment started to change a little bit i think he then realize that yo my recruitment is going to get 
a lot bigger. Of course, Purdue is a great school, a great program to join, but he's going to have a lot more options to look at moving forward. And I think Purdue is a program he will probably continue to look at. We also had to take a look at some of the programs who are continuing to offer him because his offer list is continuing to grow. If he camp at some of these schools or some more schools in the future in the summer, it wouldn't surprise me if the offer list got even bigger. So the Todd offered him actually earlier this month on April 3rd when they got him on campus for an unofficial visit. Had great things to say about Alabama after um, that visit and meeting um, with Coach Saban. He said he feels like Coach Saban is a very straight to business type of guy. Will not basically beat around the bush. He's a straightforward guy. Basically, basically going to tell you the truth. Also said he feels that his overall thoughts on Alabama are that they would just it would just be that they are a machine. All they do is produce and they can develop me. So he believes in Alabama's player development. Of course, in Alabama's recruiting tight ends, they want tight ends who have experience at blocking and also being a receiving tight end. We take a look at corner, a six foot five, two hundred pounder, a guy who has shown some experience to be a blocker line. They got why he lines up as an inline tight end at times, which is something I think is really valuable. No matter how, if you get half of your snaps there, it's just some snaps there. I just love it when high school tight ends are able to be true tight ends and not just just flex out wide all game because you if you want to play tight end or be a really great tight end at the end in the NFL one day or possibly in college right now, you are more valuable if you are able to block you get to stay in the game in multiple sets you get to be very versatile they don't have to take you out of the game they can depend on you at all times to be to be a tight end in their offense so i think corner is a guy who has shown flashes of that so far so that is why i think his recruitment is continuing to grow at the moment another top out-of-state prospect who was on the campus of the university of alabama over the weekend is Caden jones a four-star linebacker out of christ school in north carolina who's actually set to announce his commitment on friday so the crimson Tide are going to be one of the last if not the last school to host him before he announces a verbal commitment decision of course has several offers more than 20 offers does not have a top school list at the moment heading into his decision had an opportunity to catch up with him after he took a visit to alabama over the weekend this is what he had to say about alabama i think that i think the way everyone holds themselves to the standard is what makes Alabama, Alabama, so he respects the standard at Alabama, of course. And take a look at Caden Jones and what he brings to the table as a versatile linebacker prospect. He's a guy who rushes from the edge at times, plays off the ball. He's listed as a free safety wide free safety wide receiver and linebacker um, in his Twitter bio. So he's a versatile prospect. A guy who looks really well in space. I think that's the biggest part of his game that really impresses me. Him moving in coverage as a linebacker, of course, that is something that you want to be able to do with how the game is expanding and the game seems to just be incorporating more and more passing, especially in the NFL in at the collegiate level everybody wants to throw the football around so if you got a linebacker who's able to defend in space play coverage really well he's a guy that you're going to want on your team in the future talking about a six foot four prospect who moves really well in space I think he's one of the better coverage linebackers in his 2024 recruiting class it's a physical guy feels like I feel like he um you as you guys can see stops guys momentum which is something that you want to see out of the linebacker prospect of any pro or any prospect when it comes to um tackling them in space as well so Caden Jones will announce that commitment on Friday of course Alabama is one of the teams in the mix with them hosting him over the weekend Jones again a four-star linebacker out of North Carolina the last guy I want to talk about on today's show is William Satterwhite a four-star offensive lineman whose recruitment just continues to grow. Got an offer from the Crimson Tide a couple of months ago. The offer came from Alabama's offensive line coach, Eric Wolford. And when Wolford offered him, he had high praise for him. He said, I feel that your footwork, you have some of the best footwork when it comes to offensive linemen in this 2024 recruiting class. So he's a guy I think the Crimson Tide really like. I think they would really love to get an official visit from him. He got out to several schools over the spring, continued to get more and more offers. I think he recently picked up an offer from Clemson in Georgia. So he has those programs involved in his recruitment as of late. Of course, had some good things to say about Nick Saban. He said he felt like a dream 
when he met Coach Saban over over the, when he visited Alabama recently. He he didn't visit Alabama on the weekend. He visited Alabama last week. Actually had an opportunity to attend a practice. Just had an opportunity to get like an in depth look at not only the Alabama football program but also Alabama's engineering program, which which is one of the better engineering programs in the country when it comes to university. He's had an opportunity to look at that side of things as well. So he wants. She's trying to get a good feel of all of the programs he is interested in. It wouldn't surprise me. He would take multiple official visits in the summer and releases the schools that he is going to visit i don't know if alabama will get one for sure but i think that they are um in the position to possibly get one from satellite as well just based on how much they like him and of course he respects the alabama football program and the culture at the moment but that is what i want to talk about on this episode of the process of course a day is this weekend if you guys want to get an early look at a visitor list head over to touchdown alabama.com i will say some of those guys right now give you guys a sneak peek but i think three five-star commits have confirmed to me that they will be on campus we can take a look at alabama ryan williams of course five-star wide receiver in the 2025 class julian sand five-star quarterback out of Carsbad high school in california i, th- I think if you want any sign that Julian Sand is locked in with the Crimson Tide, I think him coming back and making that visit, I think it is a clear sign that he's all in with Alabama. You got to think about it. this kid is from California. He just visited Alabama, I think, um, earlier this month or was it like late March? It wasn't that long ago when he got back to Tuscaloosa. So him getting back to Tuscaloosa this weekend says a lot to me, and I think it shows that he's basically locked in um, with the Crimson Tide. He will also be drawn by Jalen Bakwe, five-star athlete out of Clay Chalkville High School in Pinson, Alabama, who's also verbally committed to the Crimson Tide so Alabama will be re- well represented this weekend when it comes to their commits also have some top targets on campus as always head over to touchdownalabama.com to get that information before you leave here be sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button as well subscribers to the notification bell be notified when we drop content on our YouTube channel then head over to touchdownalabama.com pick up your subscription today with that subscription you will be able to read all of our subscriber only articles then head over to the Google Play store if you have an android device to download the touchdown alabama app if you have an apple device the app is located in the apple app store as always i am justin smith the director of recruiting for touchdown alabama Process.